Yes. I'll never forget the first time I saw the word schedule. It was, That's it was what gave you trouble? Uh -huh. Man, luckily, this girl named Camilla Newsom, <laughs> she had the word. I was like, what is this? Shadouli? I was thinking in my head. I was Shadouli? Luckily, she went before me and said, schedule. My head exploded. Uh. I was just a headless body shaking in the seat. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm T. Hemore, and welcome back to another episode of Wording is Hard. I have my very good friend and comrade, Mr. Tony Baker here, man. Tony, welcome to the show, man. Hey, man, thanks for having me. When I when I heard about you and words, yeah. I was like, I have to show up. Well, I mean, you are fumbles McGirt out here with the wordplay. McGirt? You sure he's oh, not McGee? Oh, man. If you, you switched were, it up? If your mouth was the personification <laughs> of somebody walking down the steps with plates of there is this all, all all day. Okay. Well, I mean, that's crazy that you start off so hurtful. Uh, well, you know. But yeah, yeah, that's that's what it is. You know, my tongue is lazy, man. It 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 has a recliner. It uses it often. Um, Your tongue is stuck in traffic right now. <laughs> I'll, to here, I'll be there in twenty minutes. It works nights. My tongue works nights, so it's like in the daytime and just be tired, man. Mm -hmm. I, I just I, I do the best I can. I, I thought I was having my friends on the show, but <laughs> any opportunity that they get, they they take it. Uh, <laughs> bring me down. So basically, this game is we both have five index cards with uh, words on them, and they are very difficult words, and we are trying to pronounce them correctly. That first pronunciation. Oh, we already fumbling it up. I said it right. I just, it was McGirt. speed bumps in that word. It's a long word. The first pronunciation is what we're judging it off of. All okay. Right? So that first one. So you might clean it up on the second, third try, but that first one is what we're going That's with. That's what's going in the grade book. That's what's going in, man. Okay. All right, we got Maya in the back to okay. hold us with accountable. The grade book. Yeah, she's back there judging us with mm -hmm. the glasses Looking on. stiff and yeah. tight. Yeah, yeah she's very, she's very just, she don't be giving me no slack either. I felt like, you know, when we read out loud in class, I was always like gearing up. You know, I, you know, our fighters just be like right here. Yeah. I know my paragraph is next, yeah. and the person next to me, I'd be like, yeah. But what there. if the teacher skips over you because she sees another student sleeping? So she calls on the other student uh, to wake him up, and, and now go you got to get this this foreign paragraph. Yeah. Even in text messages, you be pausing. Sometimes I Google in the text message. I just, man, let me tell you something. Like if my it, saying is right. Especially like the shorthand, a lot of people mm -hmm. doing shorthand, I, I literally have to copy and then go to Urban Dictionary. I'm like, yep. what the fuck does this sure. mean? Especially when you're when you when you having a debate. Yeah. Once you fumble in the oh, text, it debate, takes all the credibility all out of it. All of it is out the window. You're, out of it. you're lost. Even you're if you had fumbled. all the winning points, yep. you're lost. You out of now, here. Now people believe in that the world is flat because your credibility, hell no, you fumble one time. One time. Now the world is flat. Mm. All right, well, let's let's get it going, let's man. Let's get it, man. I'm going to kick it off. Um, right. Here we go. Come on. I've never seen two U's like that right back to back like that. <laughs> That makes no fucking sense. Why is this like this? All right. Divvying up the word. I see. You got to break it up sometimes. Well, it's pretty obvious. If it was another T right here, that mm. would help it. But I'm surprised I don't see this word used in roast more often. <laughs> All right. Um... I got it. You just got it. It's all about the confidence that you You got to be me. confident because you, yeah. your confidence is on one right now. Nah. Watch this. There you go. This word is fatuous. 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 Fat. No. <laughs> fatuous. For two of us. Why are you steadily going? You got it wrong. Because I want to. <laughs> Fatuo. Is that S silent? No, it's getting worse and worse. Is the, is the first U silent? What, how do you say the word, Maya? Fatuous. That's fatuous? This, that's obvious. No, that is not obvious. Mm -hmm. Fatuous doesn't sound like it has an S in it before this S. You should already know that type of ending sounds a certain way. That's why I said fatuous. Now you were putting all kind of 
boulangers and francais on it. Then you was trying to change the that's, accent. Then that's you, not a thing. Then you were saying completely different words. I was just trying to put a little je ne sais quoi on it. Like that's where you start fumbling. And your tongue is not up to what you be trying to do verbally. Let me just read what that <clears throat> definition is on sentence that will help me get the definition. Asking for advice and not taking it can make a person look fortuitous. Um, fortuitous means stubborn. So you said it wrong again. Fascist? The T is like a C-H. Fascist. That's a different word. For shift. What was the word? God damn it. Fascious. Fascious? Fast and Furious. <laughs> Tokyo Drift. I really said it wrong again. Fascious. So it means Fatuous. stubborn. Stubborn. It means oh. foolish, foolish, inane. Okay. We know a lot of people like that out here. I mean, like, really, I like, I really, when I said it on the second time, I really put some effort in, I put some umph into it because I thought I had it right. You it said wasn't facetious. I don't know how to spell that either. Fatuous. Did I say it right this time? It's a C-H. Fatuous. It's, it's closer, yes, yes. That's what, it's, it's still not it. Not. I mean, you've already got the zero. Okay. So. <laughs> Remember so zero matter. in school? Doesn't matter at this point. It was point. the worst. It was only the worst when you tried. Man. Like, if you didn't try and you got that zero, you'd be like, nigga, I expected that. The like, zero on the, on, the, on the attempt? Man. All right, here we go, man. First word. I hope you don't have something easy, because this is, I'm going to end the episode early. Here we go. Ooh. Ha! <laughs> yes. I'm going to just let you know it's not Peru. It's not that. Ah. Uh. Mm hmm. Take your time with it. And as you hold that car, you got a big ass index finger. I mean, thumb. Like, your thumb looks like a big toe on it's your hand. It's a regular hand. thumb, man. That's not regular. It's the big toe of the hand. Yeah, but it, yours is literally a big toe. It, if, if your hands could wear thongs, it, w it would be right here. And you just, got Bigfoot's big let me, toe. Let's as focus your on this okay. word. It's got me right. sweating. Okay. All right, here we go. Because it's not, it's not what I want to say. Cause it's say a, it. Just say it. Say it so you can get it wrong. Right, so here we, we both go. Miss a point. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Pure ride. No. Damn yes. She gave me the. Yes, cause she no. uh, she always like she almost looked like she was gonna give me <laughs> right. The, good. I'm glad. Like, oh, no, hold know. on to the stairs. No. Yeah. Uh, we'll try to get. No, I, I got it wrong. Puerile. Ooh. I would Is that English? That's what I'm saying. I'm not gonna be doing no foreign words out here. That's, if that's, we, if we French. Saying. It's spelled P-U-E-R-I-L-E. -E. Think of Purial? the P-U being pew. Purial. Wait, what is it? Purial. 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 So, and the... I don't need e you jumping in. Purial. You say you're saying I'll at the end, and it's mm -hmm. ill. Oh, so purial. Purial. Mm -hmm. There you go. Purial? Purial. Yes. Imperial. No. Purial. So you're saying rile. You're saying it like so rile. Purial. It's Pure error. Also pure. pure. So, but it can't pure. be pure because pure is P-U-R-E, -E, but this is P-U-E-R. Think P-Y-O-O, -O, and then E-R, -E and then I-L. So say it one more time. Pure. 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 Sounds like lotion. All right. A hand sanitizer. Pure. I feel like that's wrong. I can tell already. <laughs> it means that's gonna be wrong. A... Don't look at her. Look at the camera. Tell them what you think it is. I'm going to go with... Something wrong. Laid back demeanor. That's what you got from that? Yeah. Here we go. Here's a sentence, yo. Pure real behavior that is tolerated in children is not tolerated in adults. So bratty. Childish. Childish. That was good. That's, that's what you said, right? Childish. You said something? What, nah. what, what did you say? I was completely off. Oh, well, good. So you got zero too, all the way around. I'm loving this game. I'm back in it, baby. Oh, what? <laughs> Espresso, huh? <laughs> I have it every morning. Oh lord, that is it, right? You said espresso. Oh. No, espresso. 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 Correct. Espresso. I'll give it to you because of your handicap. <laughs> I, I have a thick tongue and a Midwest accent because I'm from Peter Butler. No, don't, don't put that on the Midwest as a whole. You from That's Chicago. your accent. The only thing you pronounce right is bullets, mayhem, crime, murder, death, you ambulance, police. Abandoned homes. You know what? Don't do that, okay? Because Everybody left. Everybody lost their jobs. And right? left. 
No, it was the war. Boarded up. You know what? Population 27,000. Espresso is a drink. You know, it is high caffeine. It is literally just a shot, like the most caffeinated part of, of the coffee. So I was like, I get some espresso and then, you know, double shot of espresso. Okay. So that's, I don't care. that's what I'm going I really don't care. Okay. If you're feeling tired in the afternoon, take a shot of espresso to perk yourself up. You said X again. No, I, no. You're losing points. I'm not X. losing points. You, know, you, know, you, know, you know, you know, you know. You said But you know what I'm, you know what I know the word. You're though. not expressing yourself. Wow, I never picture you for this type of petty. I mean, we, we going petty, man. It's about the points. I've never met a person with dimples as deep as yours, as petty as you are. What, I'm just going to say what that. I, that. I just, that's what These I'm saying. These are bullet I, wounds from that, Chicago. That, that, that I would actually believe. I got believe. shot in the cheeks. I can believe that absolutely. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like it. All right, here we go. Mm. Shit up already. Okay. Zephyr. Yes. Boom, man. We out here. You might. Zephyr. <laughs> Somebody over there said they know it. <laughs> Good, because Tony doesn't. I really don't. Yeah, you can't use a lifeline either. I've seen this word like out on the town before on the streets. The word knew who I was, but I didn't know the it word. It was walking. The word was uh, walking. Zephyr. It had a new pair of boots on. I feel like the Zephyr is like, it's like a... Uh, some type of flight mechanism. Is that what you feel like? That's what I feel like. Like I Zephyr. feel like that is absolutely wrong. Hey, you stop moving over there. I'm, I'm not even going to look at no, it. But no. Here we go with the sentence. Yes. All right, here we go. All right. He opened his hotel window to enjoy the summer Zephyr. Oh, wow. <laughs> Breeze? Yes. Oh, the breeze. But Some that's what I meant about the flight, flight mechanism. mechanism. Don't shut when up. You're up in the you air, it's a breeze. Did, you absolutely did when not need that. When you're flying, it's a breeze. You you go ahead and get your ass on the plane to try to roll the window down. And see I'm what just happens. saying, there's still see a what breeze. Happens. You are on a no fly list immediately. When you look out the window, no, when you're in this flight, not. it's a breeze. You cannot out see there. a breeze with the window open. You can feel it. Yeah, but you can't roll you the can, window you down. You can taste the breeze <laughs> on the plane. Yeah. You said flight mechanism. Yeah, because flight mechanism, there's always a breeze. You yeah, can't fly without the you breeze. You are wrong, okay? Wrong. You can't fly without the breeze. You are wrong. That's not how airplanes work. So it don't be a breeze when people be flying? If you mean breeze so as an easy... So it don't be a breeze when people be flying. But as a figure of speech? If you mean breeze as an easy, absolutely. This is this is a breeze. It's easy flying. But if you're talking about feeling the breeze, go to sleep. You said wrong. the word correctly. I did too. I said my word correctly too. Hey, espresso. You still saying it right. All right, I'm moving on. Express yourself. <laughs> oh, that's easy work. You struggling with that? Remedial. So what? Low budget. Hell back. It's 11 letters. Repeating in this word. a grade. This is 11 letters in this. How many words you know with 11 Summer letters? Summer school. Is that's two words. Night school. That's two words as well. Abandoned homes. That's St. obviously Louis. that's two words, and you're being mean for no reason right now. East St. Louis public school. You you're trying to distract me while I'm trying to read. The word is commandeer. No. You really don't know the word. Com Comadre. <laughs> Comadre. I thought you was doing this for camera dramatics, but you really don't know. <laughs> Once you find out what it is, you're going to be like, oh, cool. Camaraderie. Com Camaraderie. That's closer than you were. Camaraderie. You're getting there. Come to the pool. Come to the camaraderie. Yes. This is camaraderie. That's how you spell it. What? Oh, get the fuck out of here! This is camaraderie. Man, I've been saying that word for years and never known how to spell it once. Technically, you're still saying it wrong because there is another A. It's camaraderie. So really? So you're Whoa, saying camaraderie. Been saying it wrong. You're you're putting two syllables together. Oh, I'm gonna keep saying it wrong then. I I'm not gonna say camaraderie. camaraderie. This whole time. I'm gonna say camaraderie every time. But it's a it's a small syllable, so the it's all right. camaraderie. But it's camaraderie. Everybody's really. saying yeah. it wrong. That's camaraderie is what I'm gonna go with. So, we all wrong. Out yeah, here. and I will take it. I will take that wrong every time. What? But, every but what? yeah, every 
Every every what? <laughs> I'll take that wrong every shit. <laughs> and you like wavered at the end because you knew you dropped the plate. Tony always <laughs> catches every time I fumble, boy. Every time. I'll be there. Because I'll try to like <laughs> call the ball, but close to the ground, you be like, ugh, got it. And you be like, no, nope, that ball's on the ground. You be you like, didn't have on, possession. Man. You didn't. You, your knees was on the ground, but you were still fumbling with the weak. That's the incomplete pass. All right. Uh, camaraderie. <laughs> Is um, when you sh show respect for each other in the similar field, or some my comrade have a mutual respect amongst each other, you know, cordial uh, camaraderie. Stuff that we are not. No, we're. we're. <laughs> How many points did you get on that? One? Shut up! You didn't get any oh, points. Wait, what? Most excellent. Most excellent. Is it my turn? I did not say it right, so you're absolutely yeah, right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, we moving on. You're not gonna get this right. Okay, wait. Here we go. <clears throat> it's simple yet tricky. I feel like you're giving me all the foreign words. What? I just had camaraderie. But that's very English. All right, here we go. Very English. <laughs> Guess you think fair. I'm going to just go out on the limb and say timber. No. That is absolutely right. I mean, wrong. Why would you think that the Because some the stuff bird... is pronounced like that even, no. in, even in, with the R-E. No. No. What is it? Timber. Timber? I didn't make up Tamber? the word. The f it's the first. It's pronounced T A M B E R. Timber is a tree. This is a word. This no. is trickery, right? Here. It's not trickery. It's just a word. It's timber. Yeah. But look how it's spelled T I M B R E. Wording is hard. This is the trickery. Wording is hard. I never said it was going to be. Timber? You agreed to come on the show. You knew what it was. I was very detailed in the description when I emailed everybody and sent out the call sheets. You still were like, I'm game. I'm pulling up. I saw you last night. You was like, I'm coming. I'm going to have a great time. And now here you are not trying to have a great time. Because this, this is treachery. It's not treachery. It's English language. I didn't make up the this English language. This is not English. Look You're how taking it out of me and Maya right now. We didn't ask for this. This is from. I invited you to something right I here. created it, and I wanted you to be a part of it. And right now, you're making me regret Tamber. that. <laughs> Tamper. I made the word. Uh, having something to do with. Not not with wood, because that would be timber. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. But I was like, let me go elsewhere. But Please then do. it might come back to timber. I don't think it was going to come back but to timber. Something to do with music, like the orchestra. Like a tambourine? You put tambourine with that because you're no, a timber? No, just timbre, like the, the tam like orchestra? sound. Okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> she has a musical timbre far beyond her years. Yes. Oh, I, am, man. I am surprised. Out here. I'm a little jealous. It's the sound or tonal quality of a particular voice or musical instrument. I hate your nene so much. Man, my timbre, when I get the flowing, when I freestyle, my timbre be all up in here. I freestyled with you in vehicles before. I, it was not all up in there. My timbre was on point. Yeah, it was this. You just hate it, on man. Just I am. Make me chew up the next word you're going to fumble on. Mm. Ooh. I am not nah, envious you, of you. You felt like you were getting the hard ones. Look that. at this. Yo. I I think this is a dinosaur. Dinosaur? Y'all heard the The dinosaur? <laughs> dinosaur. So is it like a small shop? Is it like a bodega? You've never been to a dinosaur? Is it like a big liquor store? Dinosaur is something like, you know, dino mags on bikes nah, and stuff. They, they sell just dinosaurs. All right. They sell all dry skin products for reptiles. That is store. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. This word is Aprocophel. You added some R's in there. No, just one. Aprocophel. Aprocophel? You put the R after the P? Aprocophel. Apocryphal. The R's just come with the tongue. <laughs> Apocryphal. You said apocryphal the first time. Mm -mm, no, nah, I had some spit in my mouth. Apocryphal. 
It is apocryphal. Thank you. There you go. No, I know. Yeah. There you go. Huh? What happened? <laughs> you was wrong. Well, I could have been wrong. I'm going to give him half credit. Oh, I know well, half credit. Maybe he had spit in his mouth. Well, he fucking. I mean, you, know, you know my tongue. Oh, uh, I'm sick my of your holds water. disability out here. It holds water because it, it eats a lot of salt. You got a handicap stick in your car? <laughs> Pocophil means it's something in the medical field. And I think it's dealing with <clears throat> Am I right? No. Okay. That was very vague. It was the the <laughs> vaguest. I feel like if I just got in that area, I would be in the arena and evidently not. Many men include apocryphal, apocryphal stories on their online dating profiles to attract gullible women. Uh, so now I'm, I'm thinking it's like unrealistic or embellished. Yeah, of questionable authenticity. Ah, as yeah, in a story or I statement. I thought it was a medical term. I, I'm I get gonna, it. I'm not gonna hold you at all. The second half of that word. Sheesh. That word is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Ain't nobody using that in the real world. No. Nobody's using that word. I'm using this. Why is it here? Fun words. Where's uh? Okay, here we go. So this is the old. <clears throat> Woo! All right. Jesus Christ. Man, it's a lot of letters. The C and the S's alone are just like, they are there just to disrupt all things positive. Mississippi used to make my nose bleed. (laughs) And now this is reminiscent of that. Yes. I actually know this word. All right, here we go. You you ready right after that? You just went through it once. You want to try it a couple more times before you do? Vicissitude. Yes. Woo! I would have messed that up 16 times before Man. I got close. Now, the definition is a whole nother ball game. I know the word, but I could not pronounce vicissitude. Vicissitude. Um, man. Just just hearing the word, I'm going to say. Like a dinosaur? No. Like a velociraptor? Could be in the same family. Uh, Declining? Velocity? I'm going to say ambition. No. Fuck. I was going to hope he got it wrong, too. Stupid old game. Divorce has become a common vicissitude in modern life. A so currency. divorce has become a common practice or a common theme? A change in circumstance, usually undesired. Good job getting it wrong, man. He pronounced it right. I got the pronunciation, though. Vicissitus. You can't even remotely, you you can't even think of the word. Even your thoughts is fumbling. (laughs) Your brain is like. I was trying to think of it, and it was like with Tetris, when it gets to the top, like, bloop, 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 bloop. (laughs) Yeah, I know this. This is a a four-day. I'm going to give it to you because yeah. of the handicap. Forte. Forte. Forte is... He said uh, 40. No, not him. No. He basically said 40. No, I he didn't. He has I did a not say know, I did nothing. not say a 40. You Just said 40. Forte? Forte. For, I mean, you did kind of say 40. A Forte. No, it's that four day. I know it because it's, it's a Kia car. That's what this is. That's what I bought my son. Uh, yeah, see? Yeah. But I said it right. When we Though Simon Bowles competes the uneven bars, the event is not her forte. Forte. Oh, now I get what that is. That is not the Kia car. <laughs> I forgot about that word until I read that sentence. Like, if something's not your forte. Yeah, like it's talking. Your, yeah. Getting words right. It's not your forte. Do you miss the barber? Do you miss going to the barber shop? No, I don't. You don't? All right, here we go. <clears throat> Next word. Oh. Truculent. Oh, man, yes. I read this one. Boom. I don't know what it means, though. I read this in a book. Um, Truculent. You want me to tell you? Uh, truculent, meaning. You want me to tell you what it is? Forceful. 
It can be forceful. A truculent person can be a forceful person. I'll take can be. I'll, See, I'll take we, partial we, credit. Read the sentence. All right, here we go. Trey found himself butting heads with his truculent new wife. So that means she. she well, I don't know if that's forceful. She she's very like uh, demanding, you know, stubborn, if you will. Oh, she's stubborn. trying to make it. Stubborn? It's uh, defiant or quick to argue or fight. Oh, that's Tony. Man, she's mad that's, truculent that's, out that's, here. That's, that's, that's Tony. He's, he's definitely stubborn. He's a stubborn mule. Yeah, truculent. All right. Oh, I got some points on that one. This guy's stubborn. I'm out here saying the words. Vicissitude, right. truculent, tamber. Yeah, but you didn't know it. But Zephyr, I got. You, you know what I'm saying. You got it correct, but you didn't. You didn't and, get the definition of and Zephyr. And Percy at all. Miracles over here is talking about some pure, 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 pure. pure, pure. pure. This <laughs> word <laughs> "pure" is trash. You got it. No, I said it wrong. Uh, Just now, you said it right though. <laughs> pure. It's like right. a lotion brand that, that tank. Nobody <laughs> bought it. Yeah, that's true. Because it was wet. That is true. So the next part of the game is where we both read a sentence, and uh, we try to get it correct in 10 seconds or less. Okay. With as little errors as possible. All right? So uh, Maya's going to give us the sentences, and then after that, she's going to tally up our scores, and we see who won. All right. You want to go first? So you the guess? Sure. I'm the, you know, ladies first. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right. I need to know if it's upright, though, because I'm going to lose seconds if I got to turn it over. No, nah, you'll figure it out. All right, here we go. Whew, this is nerve-wracking. It's all right. The pressure? It's not a lot of pressure. Now, here we go. Boom. All right. Tom's extreme ant antipathy <laughs> <laughs> for disputes keeps him from getting into arguments with his temperamental wife. Damn it! No. How long was that, 25 seconds? <laughs> 12 and a half seconds, and you didn't get it right. I can't. And. Antipathy. Antipathy? I thought you were having a brain aneurysm. Antipathy. Antipathy. <laughs> you sound like you were skipping. Man. Like you were skipping. Empathy. Empathy. Sympathy. Sympathy. Yeah. Antipathy. Yeah, and DJ. Kid Capri on your brain. Oh, just. man. I was definitely scratching and mixing. <laughs> Antipathy, you son of a bitch. All right. <laughs> Rest of the sentence was cake. And with that word, like, yeah, Tone, what you gonna do? I've never seen Tony so caught up. Man. Antipathy, <laughs> Kathy Bates. <laughs> Antipathy, right. huh? <laughs> Timothy. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> here we go. I hope you crash and burn <laughs> in the antipathy of your wrongdoings. Did I say uh, that correctly? Just made uh, no. No, oh, all right. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Amy's ebullient nature could not be repressed. She was always bubbling over with excitement. You did it under 10 seconds. Damn it. What was Ebullient. the word? Ebullient. Ebullient. Did you get a lot of antipathy for not being able to talk correctly? Uh, you don't know if you're using this right. <laughs> the, an the antipathy of your beard is truculent. Oh, I hate when people learn new <laughs> words and they just keep using it over and over again. Antipathy, did I use the right word? Right, right. Oh. So, who who won? Me. No, you didn't. You're not there for sure. Well, I lost this piece. Oh, you definitely lost that one. That was a major part of the grade. That was is the it? final. Uh, this is like the final. <laughs> this was the extra credit. This was. Oh. This was to help you. So wait, so I get a zero or just? No. You got to see mine. I read the sentence pretty pretty damn. Good. No, you didn't. Like, I don't fumble on the you, word. You, but the you, it was a hard symbol. That was a turnover. But the rest of the sentence, the sentence it, it, killed it. No, you got a turnover. It took you 13 seconds to read it, and you didn't do it correctly. It's three lines. It's 13 seconds. But I only two. fumbled on the word. Yeah, but that word, it took you out the game, coach. But do I get credit for the rest of the sentence? Ride the pine. 
No. Oh, is... But oh. you did when? pass by the skin of your teeth with a C minus. God damn, that's horrible. And what did I get? You hmm. are glass half full with a 50. You failed. Ha <laughs> ha! You failed. But as the optimist will say, that glass is also half full. In the antipathy of your failure. You know what? Shut since up. Since you the summer school. Okay. You know what? Is that, is that still, what does it mean? Still not. Deep dislike. Oh. I have a, a, a great antipathy for you. I don't care. I don't Correct. Know. I don't Correct. Know Correct. Okay. Well, Tony Baker, thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for, um, thanks for Left a winner, you know, with I a did. C average. You know. see my it's passing. I'm true. getting a degree. That is true. I'm out here in your, working in your hospitals with a C minus. That is not comforting at I'm all. I'm doing surgeries out here. Tony Baker, tell them where they can catch you out, what you got coming up. Oh, uh, you can find me. Thank uh, you so much for watching. We'll figure that out next time. You got to see you at the next episode. <laughs> Wording is hard. <laughs>